How's it going, YouTube? It's been a while. Uh, figured I'd catch you guys up with what's going on. Uh, a lot has been going on. Uh, been busy. Again, don't have much to record. Should start recording. But, uh, kind of give you a little update on the property and what's going on around the property. Uh, where we're at, what we've done, what's going on around it. Uh, Okay, as I got a few property videos or update videos ago, I had a building sitting on this car trailer. Uh, moved it off the building, or moved the building off the trailer. The building destroyed both fenders on the trailer, so I had to beat the fenders all back straight. Both sides, got them all squared up. Put four brand new tires on the trailer. All this material right here, it's getting ready to make a three hour drive to Atchison, Kansas. Or I gotta go do a roof on a house. That's gonna be a complete fun one. Um, you guys haven't seen this camper. I know in a few videos you've seen a uh, a blue tarp. There was a camper underneath it. Well, I sold that camper. And we've got this one here. A friend of ours, a real sweet woman, give that camper to us. Um, waiting on a title, but uh, does have a leak in the roof. But as long as I keep it tilted up and the tarp on it, she stays dry. Um, haven't showed this thing. I don't think I have. This is my brother-in-law and my sister-in-law's boat. It's got a three, oh, four three Vortec in it. Picked this boat up last summer for 500 bucks it starts up and runs but the motor has a crack in the block or something we gotta take the engine out go through that nothing's changed with the blue tarp on the side of the house um added a side on my utility trailer and a basically i caged it <clears throat> so i can keep my ladders and stuff in it's been real nice and handy y'all remember this car from when i Blew the motor in it. Um, I have not put a motor in it yet. I actually did get a new motor for it. It's in the garage. I can show you real quick. So, I've been actually doing a real good job, I think. Keeping the garage fairly clean. So I can actually work in here. But there's a new motor for it. Uh, that's a little bigger motor. But it's the exact same one that will go in that car. It'll be just fine. Got to put a mower deck on or belt on that one. This is ready to go. I need to get this out of here because that's... Oh, yeah. Move the skid steer in here. Uh, yeah. Um, got it turned around and stuck in here. So whenever I get time, we'll get back on it. Motor's still sitting over there. This piece right here. Is I basically I need to turn this into a bushing, so that's got to have a one inch hole drilled through it, polished shaft, so it can fit the. It came off this motor. It's actually the back of the crank, but basically I need to make a bushing out of it. Uh, move the welder from the other property over here. Got it uncovered. That was pretty interesting. I had a big old hornet nest underneath it. Um, put new tires on the dines. Uh, took the deck off so I can rebuild it. It's that's gonna be probably a next year project to get that buck up and going. Uh, it fires up and runs great, drives beautiful. And yeah, I moved this up here so I can cut it up. But we had a storm come through last night, and I remember one episode I had told you a tree fell down across the fence over here and destroyed it. <laughs> if I be kid you not, if it happened again. And daggum lightning hit the top of that tree right there where it's black and dropped the whole tree down on the back of the fence. So I get the privilege of cutting this monster of a tree up and getting it off the fence. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cut the old the rest of the tree down. Let me get on the other side so you can see it too. And nothing's happening with this thing but yeah end up cutting the rest of that tree down and 
talked to my neighbors and he made a good suggestion of just shoving it up in a pile because it is over by the creek shoving it in a pile instead of hauling it off and burn the dead gum thing so get it off the fence well, that's what we'll do over here on this property uh moved a bunch of stuff around uh the green diesel moved it from where it was sitting the burnt chevy dump truck the utility box the shit the ford with the uh, utility box all moved them the truck cab moved that all over here the diesel was sitting here uh burnt chevy was sitting over there truck box was sitting here and the ford with the utility box is sitting there i didn't move this one but we moved the building off the uh trailer i should have recorded it but once you get doing stuff like that you kind of don't think about the camera which i should start thinking about the camera because if it would have fell it would have made good video but that's where the truck cab was sitting moved all that moved everything over here against the house cleared out all the trees and uh moved everything over there so that's about what's been going on over here just trying to comply to make the city happy again because they're on top of me again just got done doing vinyl siding on a garage for a guy got to go do a couple of decks on some houses for some people uh nothing's changed with the boat i will be moving it here when i get the privacy fence up i'll be hooking onto this thing and getting it out of the way um nothing's happened with this diesel i haven't even put the injectors in it yet so i don't even know if it runs there's all the material left over from doing the vinyl siding on the garage i gotta get that cleaned up and this dakota needs a uh crankshaft sensor put in it this friend of mine's need to get it done so you can get it out of here so across the street a big old tree fell down last night as well over there I had a pretty good storm come through last night so I just figured I'd walk around give you guys kind of a quick property update long overdue I can't remember the last one was uh, like I said getting the trailer over here ready to go to Atchison go do a complete rip all the way down to the walls re-rafter re-deck re-shingle it's got a 212 pitch on it or I guess you can call it a 212 pitch rough on it now but uh I'm gonna tear that off and go with shingles and we're gonna put a 412 on it so as of right now not a whole lot's been going on I'm going to start trying to get a little better on uh, filming. So please hang in there. I do appreciate the subscribe y'all the ones that are subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please like, share, comment. Give me some feedback. Give me some something, you know. I do appreciate everything. And y'all have a great day. And God bless y'all.